Hey guys, once again welcome to our channel, hopefully you guys are doing great. In today's video we'll be dealing with a new concept and that as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail, the concept that we're going to discuss to in today's lecture is ground state. Now this topic, this concept, some people might be aware of it, some people might not be aware of it. Um, so we're going to discuss this, so we are going to discuss this in detail today. So without wasting our precious time, let's get cough. Ground state. So, what do we exactly mean by ground state? So this question might appear might appear in your examinations. They might ask you what is ground state. They might ask you for the definition. So, generally, by definition, the ground state means that it's the most stable electronic configuration of an atom which has the lowest amount of energy. So, we know this definition now, but we are unclear. But we are unclear of how we'll practically apply. Um, to the questions if for example the question uh, related to ground state may ask you uh, that write the electronic configuration for example a specific atom or we can say a potassium atom okay it might it might say that write the electronic configuration of the uh, potassium atom in in its ground state so this might be unclear this definition might be unclear of what exactly we have to do in that part of the question so we are going to deal with that in our further upcoming videos to make sure you are tuned. All right. So this is achieved by fillings of filling the subshells of energy with the lowest energy first. One is. So as I discussed in my previous videos, when we are writing the electronic configuration or when we are filling subshells of energy. All right. So what happens? We are firstly filling the S subshell, and then we are filling the P subshell, and then we are filling the D subshell, and finally we are filling the F subshell. And also note that when we are filling uh, because I, as I as I discussed before, that uh, shells are made of subshells, which are further made of orbitals. All right, so you should know the order as we discussed in our previous videos. So that was um, S, then P, then D, and F. This is the pattern they are following when they are filling subshells of energy. All right, so we'll be discussing this uh, through examples um, in our uh, upcoming videos. So make sure you watch them also, and you watch the previous videos also as well. All right. So the order of subshells in terms of increasing energy does not follow a regular pattern, and an n equals three and higher. Now this through um, now this example, I'll be, this statement I will be referring to a diagrammatic snapshot. Let me just go to that. One second. All right. So you can see here the diagrammatic snapshot of how they're telling you how the um, atoms fill their shells how the how we can write the electronic configuration of an atom in terms of increasing energy so you can see from the diagram one minute just okay so you can see that one s subshell one s shell is the lowest in energy that n equals one n equals one means uh, one shell the first shell n equals two means the second shell n equals three means the third shell and n equals four obviously it means the fourth shell so what happens how we are um, filling the shells so that is 1s first because it contains only 1s orbit 1s s orbital so that means uh, we are just filling 1s subshell and in the second shell you have two orbitals that is um, s and p so that is 2s 2p so what happens then we fill 2s then we fill 2p and this is the till now we are okay with the um, pattern of the atom of how it's being filled with electrons then what happens then we are filling 3s all right after 3s, we fill the 3p subshell, okay? And this shell, n equals 3, contains 1s, 1p, and 1d subshell, all right? So you should know that, you should know about that. After 3s, we fill 3p, then what happens? After 3p, is directly going to 4s. The question is, the question is very tricky here, that um, why we are not directly filling 3d subshell before 4s subshell, and there is one reason for this. And this I've already stated, I guess I've already stated, and I'll be referring to this in, your, in our upcoming videos as well, through examples you'll be discovering of, um, f through examples of, for example, writing out the electronic configuration, uh, we'll be discovering of why this 3D subshell is filled after the 4S subshell. So there's a reason about that. Um, so energy difference between the 4S and 3D subshell is very small, okay? So 4s is a bit lower in energy than 3d and we already talked about it that order of subshells 
how they are filled it, is it uh, in terms of increasing energy so the lowest energy will be filled first and the highest energy will be filled farthest all right so this means the 4s subshell is being filled here before 3d subshell and that's the reason so an electron from 4s can be promoted to a half fill or full fill 3d orbital to make the atom more stable so when filling for fill 4s before 3d and when removing also remove first from 4s so when we are adding electrons okay so make sure that you add if for example if we have uh, 4s um, 3d and 4s all right so when we are adding the electrons make sure you add the electron to the to the 4s subshell first before 3d and also when we are removing when we are ionizing an atom also remove first from 4s because it's the lower in energy than 3d then we have uh, then the subshells continue on and there might be um, some energy difference between the subshells i'm going to discuss in our upcoming videos yeah so i hope we are done with this ground state um, um so make sure you are subscribed to the channel hit the like button comment down below and uh, in our pre in our upcoming videos we'll be discussing this in more detail so make sure you are tuned to those videos all right that's it cheers